exactly where Utah State would love to have Raman stay. Ty Wesley reaches around, pokes it away. The ball stays with New Mexico State. Jamar Young rises up, can't hit. But Raman comes down with the offensive board for New Mexico State, and they get a fresh shot clock. Huge offensive rebound for Raman. Now they can run another 20, 25 seconds off the clock, get into their set, whatever they want to do offensively, which is most likely to get that ball to this man, Jonathan Gibson. Raman with his 12th rebound, coming in at a very opportune time. This is Jamar Young trying to create a shot, spins around, holds in the air, just cannot get his shot to drop tonight. Here comes Utah State. Jared Quayle trying to get it down to Ty Wesley. This is Newbold. Ty Wesley was calling for the ball on the block, but Stu Morrow says, no, we're going to get into our set, set play. Newbold finds Yang. And he got lucky there because Gordo Castillo had the ball just handed to him and couldn't corral it. The ball goes, goes out of bounds back to Utah State. This is Newbold. Gives it up to Pooh Williams. Williams shot, air ball. Again, Todd, where's Jared Quayle? He should be getting the ball at the end of shot clock, making the plays for his teammates. This is Gibson. Coach Menzies telling us he'll shoot from almost anywhere on the court. Shot clock under 10. Gibson goes one-on-one, -on -one, driving to the basket, kicks it way across, has LaRoche there. LaRoche has to hurry and put it up, can't get it, and Utah State comes up with a rebound. Who Williams with the ball. He'll take it all the way to the basket, stripped away. <laughs> Woo, Jamar Young with those quick Baltimore hands, got away with another one. Who Williams complained about the foul, along with the Utah State Aggie bench, but no call. Under four to play, 53-45, New Mexico State on top. McKinnis finds Young. Back to Gibson. Gibson for three. Not this time. Quayle with the rebound. And Quayle just take it all the way. This is exactly what you're saying. Where, where's that been all night, Todd? He's Elder County, about 25 miles just down the road from Logan and Utah State campus. 3.15 to play, New Mexico State holding on to a six-point lead. The pace now is shifted into Utah State's favor. Jamar Young now on the dribble drive. Again, shot clock goes under 10. They go for the alley-oop lob. And Jared Quayle was in there for the rebound. And it looks like they're going to get Raman on over the back. Utah State committing 14 turnovers on the game. And New Mexico State getting 20 points off of turnovers. And this is something they'd like to see. More of Mr. Bendall bringing the ball up. All that means is Jared Quayle doesn't have the ball. Now he does. But look at this. Look at the concerted effort to keep him away from the ball. Newborn looking for a shot. Goes down low to Wesley. Ball's knocked out of bounds, and they say Ty Wesley touched it last. He tried to, tried to look for the big fella inside, but just couldn't get the pass completed. Ernst LaRoche with the ball, gives it up to Young. Young on a quiet night, averages 20, only has nine right now. <laughs> And they're going to call him for the charge. Unable to get the ball to Jared Quayle. He triggers their offense. Now he gets it. Gibson guarding him tightly. I think having to work so hard to get the ball each and every possession has really worn down Quayle. New Mexico State guards done an excellent job. Ty Wesley up and under. Finally finds his man down below, and it's Nate Bendall, and Utah State immediately calls a timeout. So what was once an 11-point lead has now been cut to four.
Jonathan Gibson, the senior from West Covina, California, handles the ball. Wesley steps out on it. Whale now guarding LaRoche. Shot clock under 10. And LaRoche loses the handle, and the ball goes over to Utah State. Going who they wanted to run that pick and roll for. LaRoche takes it, and Jamar Young runs his man straight towards LaRoche. So a minute 13 to play. Utah State down by four. Williams with the ball. This is Newbold. Finds Wesley. Williams takes the baseline, brings it back out. Williams again going hard, has Bendall underneath. Bendall blocked. <laughs> and the ball stays with Utah State. Who Williams will inbound it. Gets it to Quayle. This is Wesley. Who Williams will fire the three and hits. <laughs> and just like that, Utah State is down by one. 46.9 seconds to play. Smart play by Ty Wesley. He had the ball behind the three. He peeked up at the clock and knew he had five seconds, which was time enough to put it on the floor and kick it out to Pooh Williams for the open three. Jamar Young with the ball, and New Mexico State wants to talk things over. Just going to want to extend the game here. Ty Wesley with the hard drive. A great contest by Wendell McGinnis. Pooh Williams just with the clutch jump shot right in the face of Wendell McGinnis. Pooh Williams had one point up to that point, New Mexico State. you got to go to Jonathan Gibson. He's been the hot man all night. Get oh, a near turnover by New Mexico State as Jared Quayle forced LaRoche way into the backcourt. Get so now the shot clock's down. Get Gibson in a 1-4 situation here. Gibson with the ball, tries to draw the foul, quails on him. Gibson cuts over, comes left, hits! With 16.2 seconds, it's a three-point game. Jared Quayle with the ball. And Utah State will talk it over with 12 seconds to play. That last yeah, shot. Give Coach Menzies credit there. They run a little dribble handoff and they clear it to the 1-4 situation. Gibson can take Quayle off the dribble anytime he wants. They have to go to Louisiana Tech on Monday where Nevada lost tonight. Jared Quayle with the ball. Shot clock off. Final five seconds. They need a three. Pooh Williams rises up, fires, doesn't hit. And that's the ball game. The Aggies of New Mexico State survive. 55-52.